राधे राधे एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू अ वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड डेटा एनालिस्ट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन और अ पावर बी डेवलपर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच इज व्हाट इज योर डे टू डे टास्क एज अ डेवलपर एंड मेनी ऑफ यू आर फ्रेशर्स पीपल हु आर ट्रांजिशनिंग और पीपल हु आर एक्सपीरियंस हुव एक्चुअली नॉट डन सम वर्क एंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू शो सम रेलिवेंट एक्सपीरियंस सो फॉर देम दिस क्वेश्चन बिकम्स वेरी वेरी ट्रकी एंड दैट्स वेयर दे गेट फेल समटाइम्स एंड फाइनली इट लीड्स टू अ रिजेक्शन सो दैट्स वाई आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो सो दैट आई कैन गिव सम कॉन्टेक्स टू यू वट हैपन्स इन द रियल टाइम एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू कैन फ्रेम योर आंसर इन द इंटरव्यू सो दिस वीडियो will be very very helpful for you all please do like this video it really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with gigs all right let's first discuss how a team a project team looks like how many people are there in general what kind of roles they are associated with so in general you will find in a project team there will be a business analyst there will be a architect there will be data engineers there will be data analyst and there will be a project manager so at least you will find five people in a project team to run it smoothly all right what is the work of a business analyst you will understand your role when you will be understanding the context of other roles as well so as a business analyst what does they do they basically directly interact with the client and they actually gather the requirements for which they want the work to be done so business analyst gathers the requirement and what they create they create a business requirement document which is called a brd so basically they put everything they, they understand the business context and then in their own layman language they put that all the things in one document which is called brd now once brd is created the same business analyst will discuss about the requirement within the entire team where data engineers data analyst project manager will be there in that meeting it is decided what is the role of a data engineer so data engineer is responsible for extracting and integrating the data and they do this by building etl pipelines you would have heard of this term etl pipeline so basically this task is done by data engineer to extract and integrate the data and basically store it in a data warehouse once the data is stored properly in a data warehouse then the role of a data analyst starts where they are responsible for developing all the things that that the client is looking for and finally it goes to production now all of this is done under the governance of the project manager project manager is responsible to run the project smoothly and see if the things are being done on time or not now let's discuss about what actually the data analyst has to do many of you have this confusion that is there always a development work means the data analyst is always doing the development work no let me make you understand this so whenever data analyst comes into picture so that means the data is already ready for analysis now based on the requirement which is present in that brd you will extract the tables from the data source which can be data warehouse or a database so based on the requirement maybe you will be creating few views using sql code and then finally you will be pulling those views in power bi and once you have all the data in power query in power bi then your development starts from the power bi side you did some work from the sql side by creating views and then you pulled those views now the work from the development side of power bi starts now we can categorize your role into four categories one is the development work means the development of the report second is uat which is user acceptance testing means the testing phase then the deployment where you are actually deploying the your developed report and making it production making it live for the business users there so that they can directly use it and the fourth is hyper care where you are basically as a developer supporting if any issue or problem arises in the development phase your role is basically to transform the data in power query then do the data modeling then do the dax calculations whatever is required then visualize it and then finally move it to the power bi service means uploading that developed report to power bi service now this development phase of a report can take n number of days based on the complexity of the requirement usually it will take around 4 weeks of time to develop a report having at least two pages so that means 4 weeks of developing and development testing then 2 weeks of user acceptance testing and then 2 weeks of finally moving to the deployment phase so overall a one power bi project or one power bi report you can assume it takes 8 weeks of time to be deployed in production so if the interviewer asks you 
how much time do you take usually to build one project and make it to production you say it usually takes eight weeks of time and then you can split this eight weeks into four plus two plus two that the way i have explained to you so eight weeks of time for entire development testing and moving to production plus one month of time for hyper gear so overall it takes three months of time to actually move everything to the support team so if somebody is asking what is your role in a day-to-day -day task then you have to make them aware that you are in which phase of the project development whether you are in technical development part whether you are in uat part whether you are in deployment part or whether you are in hyper care part so based on that phase you have to describe or you have to tell your activity it is not that that you are always doing the development work and friends if you want to learn the data analyst demanding skills which includes power bi advanced excel sql python tableau microsoft fabric with data engineering concepts as well as very important ai automation then i would recommend you to go for code basics data analytics bootcamp the bootcamp price is very affordable and at the same time the quality of the entire course and bootcamp is very good that i can assure you of at the end of the bootcamp you will be also provided with two authentic virtual internships which you can include on your resume too especially as a fresher or a person with a career gap after four plus months of consistent hard work you will be job ready in the market and basically you will be becoming an ai enabled data analyst this is the brilliant bootcamp to go for i will provide the link of this bootcamp in the description box of this video please do check it out many times interviewer also asks how do you divide if you are two if there are two developers in a team how do you divide your task so you have to answer that you individually work on different requirements you, are, you don't work on same requirement because company will never want that two people are working on the same requirement they will always want that multiple people are working on multiple requirements so never say that we work on the same requirement always mention that individual developers work on different individual requirements we are being provided with the brds we provide them the time duration and then accordingly the, all the development work starts all of this happens under the governance of project manager as i mentioned in the starting so there are multiple ways of managing the project either the company is using jira project management tool or they are using azure devops means agile way in agile way basically we have different sprints one sprint comprises of two weeks so that means after the end of two weeks whatever task has been assigned to you you are being assessed whether you are able to complete this or those or not if you are not able to complete those tasks then those tasks will be moved to the next sprint so this helps in the governance of all the tasks associated with all the people there in the project now you must be thinking where does the role of an architect comes into picture because i discussed about ba i discussed about data engineer i discussed about data analyst i discussed about project manager where this architect comes into picture so once the brd is created the technical design approval is given by the architect so there will be a section of technical design which is applicable for that particular project that will be under the control of architect so the architect role is also very crucial so i hope you understood the entire process let me know in the comment box if you have any further question please do comment down if you found this video useful and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you